Hey there guys, it's Attack on Samurai, and here is another Wi-Fi battle for you guys. This is Wi-Fi battle number 20, I believe, so yeah, we're a lot of, well, a lot of Wi-Fi battles. Um, so this one is against Lindomar. Uh, he's another uh, Twitch streamer. Uh, he actually recently got back, well not recently, but like over the summer, he got back into streaming. He's actually been on a uh, hiatus for, I want to say, a few months. So, yeah. Um, I actually first, you know, met him through X and Y. I mean, through Pokemon X and Y. So, yeah, he's a really good battler. <laughs> I don't think I've ever won against him. Like, ever. Because <laughs> he's just, he's really good. He's a really good guy. He's really good at uh, competitive battler. So I'm using my uh Mega Low Pony team. Um and he's using uh Mega Low Pony as well with Tornadoes with Tornadoes Therian, uh Klefki, Hoopa, Hoopa Unbound, um Starmie and Garchomp. So I actually wanna say I had this battle at about one or two. It was it was around that time, but I mean, it was, yeah, it's like one or two o'clock, so yeah, this this is this is recent. This is a recent battle and I actually remember it. <laughs> so yeah, um So this is how he starts. I if, if I remember, uh, which I should remember um, he starts off with his shirt, with his Garchomp, as I start off with my, uh, Registeel, Carbon. Um, so yeah, he's gonna set up his Stealth Rocks, as I am also. Um, yeah, I'm gonna set up my own Stealth Rocks as well. Um, so I'm gonna go for an Iron Head, as I actually go first. So that told me that, oh, he's gonna Dragon Tail, and... What Dragon Tail does is that it forces your opponent to uh, switch out, so um, unfortunately he is not able to do that because he flinches, so yeah, I'm going to go into Agnes and try and uh, defog this, or at least, you know, um, or at least I know I won't take as much damage, but after seeing that Dragon Tail damage, it's told me, okay, he has some attack investment in him, so yeah, that Dragon Tail did a lot. <clears throat> So what he's what he's pretty much gonna do is just like juggle juggle my team like he's just gonna keep trying to uh, force me out because um, he doesn't like this uh, this uh, switch in with the uh, Registeel. So he actually went for a Dragon Tail and miss. So that's really good for me because I'm able to get a free rest. Um, I wanted to rest here because. I wanted to, because I wanted to try and whittle down this Garchomp as much as possible with Iron Heads, so that way I could possibly come in with Mega Lopini. But yeah, unfortunately that did not happen, and uh, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna be forced to switch into Rotom um, as I go for a Reflect. He goes for the Dragon Tail, uh, switching me out. Uh, so yeah, he's he's gonna keep doing this for a little bit. Um, it is kind of annoying. Um, I may speed this part up, but even though this is just like the beginning of the battle though, but still, I'm gonna go for an Iron Head now. This is about, there's a little more, this is about maybe 10% or something, but yeah, it's, I'm able to flinch him too, which is nice. I'm gonna go for another Iron Head, um, uh, you know, whittling him down even more. Um, as he also has Rocky Helmet and Rough Skin, which is a really good, like, tactic to have on a Garchomp, um, or on a, well, on a defensive Garchomp, which is the one he's using. So, he Dragon Tails me out, and I go into my Flygon, which is actually what I wanted, uh, cause, but unfortunately he went for the Endure, so, I'm able to, you know, bring this Garchomp down to one, which is a little unfortunate, but, still, at least I got damage on it, which is very nice for me. <laughs> So he's actually going to switch out his uh, Garchomp for Klefki, uh, since Klefki is a part fairy and can resist uh, dragon types, I mean the dragon typing. So 
yeah, that was a really good uh, play for him to do that. Um, I honestly thought he would have sacked his Garchomp, but knowing Lindo, he would never do that. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to switch out, wanting to put myself in a better position as I go into my uh, Agnes, aka my Mandibuzz. As he probably predicts the switch in and goes into his uh, Starmie, Death Star. So, yeah. Um, I'm hoping at this point that I can live a, uh, a skull or an ice beam. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get some uh, lefties health back. Get some lefties. Um, and he's gonna go for the skull, and Agnes actually does live it. Um, which is, you know, very good for me. So, Agnes is able to eat that up, and I'm able to get up a roost, which is very nice for me. Um, as in I'll be at a, a decent amount of health, and he won't be able to take me out with a uh, ice beam if he has it, which I actually find out um, that he, that his uh, Starmie does not have ice beam. Um, because if he did, he would have gone for it, but he goes for the skull, gets the burn, which is very, very annoying, and will definitely play um, later in the battle. Like, it, it really will screw me over in the battle uh, later. So, I get my defog off, I'm able to uh, get rid of his rocks and also mine, unfortunately. <laughs> but, yeah, I just really can't let Rotom take all this, take stealth rock damage as well and stuff. So, he's gonna go for the reflect type, which actually, you know, it, uh, well, like the game just said, it can, uh, it reflects the same type thing as the other opponent. So, that means Starmie is dark and flying right now, so that means it has no water stab. So that means Skull won't do anything, but he obviously knows that and is going to switch out to his Clef Key as I go for a U-turn to get myself in a better position. So I'm going to U-turn. It's a crit, I think. Yep, it's a crit. <laughs> a pointless crit, but you know. Uh, so I'm going to go back into my Flygon. Um, so right here, I was debating, okay, should I go Earthquake or should I go Fire Punch? Because, yeah, my Flygon actually runs Fire Punch, so, um, he actually goes, so I actually went Fire Punch, and he went for Magnet Rise, so I'm like, yes, that's just what I wanted. So I'm going to go for the Fire Punch, it's going to do a lot of damage to this thing, like, ooh, it did a clean 75%, but, yeah, unfortunately, this Clef Key is able to live it, which kind of sucks for me, so I'm going to predict him to switch out, uh, I wanted to put myself in the better position, I think I was predicting to go back into Garchomp, um, so, yeah, unfortunately he does not go into Garchomp, he goes into a Starmie, uh, which is unfortunate for me. Uh, so he's going to go for the Skull, able to take me out, oh, well, no, not able to take me out, but I live on 16, get the burn though, but I'm able to rest that off, and I'm in a pretty decent position right here, I feel like. I feel kind of comfortable in this position, um, <laughs> he's going to switch out Starmie. And gonna go back into his Garchomp, uh, which is very, very unfortunate for me. Um, I wanted to try and you know wake up and maybe get Stealth Rocks up or something, but unfortunately that does not happen. So I'm gonna predict him to go for Stealth Rock, and I'm gonna go into my uh, Agnes. Um, so as he goes for the uh, Stealth Rock right here. Um, so this play right here, I actually went for U-turn. Um, I feel like maybe instead of going U-turn, I should have went Defog instead, but, yeah. Um, I'm able to take out the Garchomp, um, which is great. I do get some uh, Rocky Helmet and Rough Skin damage, unfortunately, but I'm able to take out the Garchomp, which is what I needed to happen, so, yeah, but still, I feel like on that play, I should have Defog instead of going for U-turn and taking unnecessary damage. That would have been better for me. But, uh, so he's gonna go into his, uh, Lopini, named, uh, uh, Mia Khalifa, so, yeah. <laughs> so, gonna switch out, because I was thinking he'd go for Fake Out or something. Um, as he Mega Evolves, Mega Evolving his, uh, Mia Khalifa into his, uh, Mega Lopini, so, yeah. Uh, he is actually gonna go for the Fake Out, which is what I thought he would do. <laughs> Um, as he does go for the fake out, and he actually goes for the high jump kick, lands it, and I'm able to live at 8. I was hoping I would maybe live, but, and wake up, but nope. 
I don't li I live, but I don't wake up. So unfortunately, that happens. So now, uh, now Lopini is plus one after the power punch, which definitely sucks. So Reggie Steel being asleep on that turn really cost me because if I had landed a Thunder Wave on him, that would have been that would have been good for me. That would have been great, but unfortunately, that did not happen. So he's going to switch out Lopini, probably predicting a fake out or something. I'm going into a Starmie actually, so. That told me that Hugh is probably some kind of defensive set, maybe. But I'm gonna Mega Evolve my Lopini, and I'm actually gonna protect right here. Yeah, I'm one of the few Mega Lopinis that I have that don't run Fake Out. Uh, I don't know why, I just. I don't know why I don't run Fake Out. Fake Out is probably better to run, but. You know, I want to be different than everyone else, so. He's gonna go for the skull. It will just take out my Agnes right here, I believe. Okay, no, I live at 17, but that was very bad for me. <laughs> That was very bad, so, yeah, uh, Agnes is not gonna live this, unfortunately, so, yeah, he's gonna go for the skull. I was hoping he would go for something else, but nope, he went for the skull, uh, going for the safe play, which is fine. It's a mean meaningless crit, but, whatever. So, now I'm gonna go into my, uh, micro, uh, living at 60, he's gonna go for the skull, and that's gonna take out my, uh, yeah, take out my road heat, so that uh, really does suck. So I'm now down like what three or so left, three or so mons left. So gonna go into my Shinigami, uh, breaking my sash unfortunately, which is something I really didn't want to happen to me, but I kind of had to do it. He's gonna go into his Storm Neos, aka Tornado Therian. Um, I think I went for the Willow right there, predicting to switch out to something else, but. I missed, so yeah. <laughs> Gonna go for the Shadow Ball, but then do like no damage since since his uh since his Tornadus is Eviolite. So, I mean no, not Eviolite, it's a uh, assault vessel. So yeah, I'm gonna switch out going to your Uchi predicting another knockoff, which he actually does do. He actually does go for the knockoff, so I'm like, yes, okay, I predicted that correctly. So he's gonna switch out his Storm Neos, not wanting to take a return. So, he's actually going to sack off his super right here. So, yeah, his super's not going to do anything because he's going to get one shot. Boom. Dead Hoopa. <laughs> yeah, Hoopa's defense is, like, atrocious. It's so bad. <laughs> it really is, but... You no, know, it can do a lot of damage. It can do a lot. It can do a lot of damage. Um, so I'm going to switch out my Megalopony. I'm going to go into my uh, antennas. Uh, hoping I could live a Scald or something. Um, as he does go for the skull, and he, right here, this was screwed me over. Oh wait, no, he didn't get the burn. I thought he did. Okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. I thought he got the burn right there, but he didn't. He's gonna go back into his into that breaking me to go for a dragon claw, which I do. So that that play right there was really good for him. That was a really good play on his part, uh, predicting the dragon claw. I really wanted to go fire punch, but I don't know. It just didn't feel right to me, but. Yeah, I'm gonna sack my Gengar right here to the Stealth Rocks, which does suck. And he's gonna go for a layer of spikes, which is very well played, I have to say. That was a very good play for him to do that. Do it for the spikes. Um like at first I thought, why are you setting up spikes? That's kinda dumb. But he knows what he's doing. <laughs> I don't, I barely know. Uh so I'm gonna go so I'm gonna go back into Flygon. Going for a fire punch, hoping he would stay in, but unfortunately he does not. He goes in back into Starmie. And this fire punch is gonna do no damage. So yeah, that told me he was definitely physically defensive. Some kind of physically defensive set with the flight type, so yeah. So fortunately Flygon is pretty much useless. Uh gonna go into my Yorichi. He's actually gonna go for the skull. Um gonna take some self rock damage and spikes damage as well. He's gonna go for the skull, and I'm praying, don't burn. Don't burn. Don't burn. He gets the burn. He gets the burn. And I'm like, I'm done. This, I'm done with this game. <laughs> that was my whole reaction right there. I'm done. Gonna go for a meaningless return. Even though I know, I know I'll die to a, just, just die. So, yeah, he's gonna recover. Uh, don't really know what, what the point of that was. He could have just killed me off right there, but whatever. He did what he needed to do, and so yeah, Megalopony's gonna die. So kind of sucks for me. 
as I go into my antennas and he outspeeds me and goes for the skull right here so yeah that happened <laughs> so there goes my uh, flag on and my chance of beating Lindo so yeah <laughs> Lindo, Lindo Mar is really good he's a very good player um like I said at the beginning I've never beaten him I doubt I will <laughs> um but you know you get better every time I guess that's I guess that's just you know things I've heard from other YouTubers like uh, Pokey Aim. You know, you always get better and stuff like that. So yeah, I get I just see this as you know a moment for me to get better at competitive battle. So yeah, again, good game, Linda Moore. I mean, Lindo, you played it fantastically as always. <laughs> uh, so uh. Yeah, thank you guys for uh, watching, and I will see you in another Wi-Fi battle.